to be aspiration. Think about the landscape in college basketball just recently. Wichita State, Final Four. Butler, two times in a row, out of the horizon. VCU, Final Four. George Mason, Final Four. Is it a stretch to think that Oakland University can be in the Final Four? Not at all. Or UDM? Not at all. Or another Horizon League team? Not at all. We want to be aspirational. We are and we want to continue to be nationally competitive in men's and women's basketball. I was talking to Becky about our women's program. Green Bay is a top 25 program. We are really proud of that. But I want to help build with our ADs and our presidents at least one more top 25 women's basketball program. That would be a phenomenal thing for our league. And it will really, really reaffirm and confirm its commitment to national excellence. Number three, we are and we want to continue to be relevant. What's going on in this city today just to your institutional relevance and our league relevance and UDM's relevance, I think, to another place. Um, the support from Antoine Garibaldi, who will be our board chair, is he's excited. And he's excited, as is Dr. Russi, about this partnership above and beyond athletics. So it's going to be a collaborative opportunity. There are going to be sponsorship opportunities, and the games are going to be phenomenal. Fourth, we are and we want to continue to be committed to the collegiate model of athletics. I have a view of that. The collegiate model of athletics is when we balance our fiduciary responsibility. It takes money to do this. It's a big business. But to balance that with values. And then the ultimate outcome is that student athletes grow socially, emotionally, intellectually, physically, and we're trying to create leaders of tomorrow. That's what we do. That's the collegiate model. That's why I get excited to come to work every day. So in that context, you might say, why Oakland? Pretty simple for me. Oakland is aspirational, institutionally, <coughs> athletically. You can get there. You can go anywhere you want to go. And athletics is going to be a key role in that. Number two, Oakland University absolutely committed to competing at the highest level. Number three, you're not only relevant, but in partnership with UDO, you will add relevance in a great city and in a dynamic region. That is really, really exciting. And finally, Oakland University is not only committed to the collegiate model, you are an example of the collegiate model. And that makes me very excited. So with that said, uh, it is with great pleasure that I welcome Oakland University as the newest member of the Horizon League. And now I'd like to welcome to the podium my new friend, our new colleague, a golfer, a Detroiter, a lawyer, an otherwise good guy, Michael Kramer, chair of the board at Oakland. Michael. Wow. Golfer? This guy doesn't know me at all. So, anyways, I want to thank all of you for coming. Not only am I involved in Oakland as a member of the board of directors, board of trustees, I'm also an avid sports fan. I have to tell you that we've been working on this for a little while, and I'm really excited about this. Now that I met the commissioner, I'm even more excited because he's a top guy. We're going to really enjoy this, all of the sports, not just basketball. In fact, as I was driving down here, I passed the McNichols Road exit, and it brought me back to my days of being a kid and going to Callahan Hall and watching Dave DeBush for a period ride and on and on and on. So that particular rivalry is going to be, in addition to all the other rivalries, really exciting. Our move to the Horizon League
<laughs> well, um, <laughs> it's all, all clear. Our move to the Horizon League brings many benefits to this great university. One of the most exciting is the opportunity for a higher profile, not only in Southeast Michigan, but throughout the state and the region, as evidenced by the amount of media uh, present today. In fact, I'm talking uh, Coach Kempe tells me that already he's been making contacts with, with players in other states that would probably have been a little harder sell had it not been for the fact that we joined this great conference. Now we add to the mix of many of the other major things that we've done at Oakland. We've added new buildings. We've got top professors. We add to that mix uh, the move to a major conference. Um, the move to the Horizon League means exciting competition, enhanced recruitment opportunities, a continued focus on student athletes, achievement, greater visibility in the league with a higher national profile. The move to the Horizon League represents one more step towards becoming the world-class university that President Rossi and the leadership team have always envisioned. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, I want to commend President Rossi, especially Tracy Huth, our Athletic Director. I've seen the kind of labor of love these people put to make this move successful. The campus and the campus community and the alumni will reap significant, will reap significant benefits as a result of our move to the horizon. Thank you for coming today. We look forward to being active competitors in this league, and we know that this is going to be a terrific step for Oakland University. Thank you. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I am Gary Russell, the president of the university. I'm truly delighted to be here today. A special thank you to Jim Perry. Jim, thank you for making this happen. This is an opportunity for us, and we really appreciate it. Jim's been a good friend. Uh, he is uh, promoting our insurance program at our, our university. And, uh, John, I want to thank you. Uh, this invitation means a lot. Uh, it is a game changer. And truly a game changer. And so we're excited to be part of the Horizon League. But you know what? This is part of a strategic tra trajectory that we've been on for a long time. We've added new buildings. We've added talented faculty. We've added 65 new degree programs, including a new medical school, law school. We've been able to enhance community outreach. We have increased student experiences on our campus, and we've grown this campus to over 20,000 next month. And we're delighted with that because that's 16 straight years. But this move to the Horizon League is another strategic initiative. And it's consistent with our mission and vision. We're truly delighted because July of this year, 2013, all Oakland University athletic teams will compete in the Horizon League. Really, really pleased. But we're also pleased because of the mix of schools that are in the horizon. It's not only exciting to think about competition with that mix of schools, but it's very exciting to look at their commitment to athletics. Let me give you a couple statistics that's important. Over one half of the Horizon League student athletes have a 3.2 or better. GPA. 14 of 19 sponsors for them in the league meet the NCAA academic average, including men's and women's basketball. This value is very important to us and so on as we move forward. But there are some very practical reasons to move into the one, consistent with our philosophy of academic excellence. The last time that our student athletes will be missing, will be reduced. And our faculty athletic rep at our board meeting yesterday made this statement. He's projecting that will be reduced by 50%. Can you imagine? 50%. 
fifty percent. Beautiful to support the academic enterprise in higher education. We also think this move will help us attract a more diverse students. And that's very important because it enriches the learning environment. And we're excited by the opportunity for close by to libraries. Um, that then creates an opportunity for much more excitement, excitement in the community as a whole. We think that, that translates into better retention and better graduation rates for our students. Today, I would be remiss if I didn't thank the Summit Lake Commissioner Tom Newton. He's done a great job in supporting us over the years. And I want to thank the other schools and the Summit Lake because we've had 15 years of wonderful rivalries with them. But you know what? What's exciting for us today is that now we're going to be able to develop new friends, new libraries in the horizon, and especially with the talented group of people who are a strong thrill of you. So thank you very much. Good afternoon. I'm Tracy Hoop, Director of Athletics at Oakland University. It's certainly a pleasure to be here today. And, uh, what an honor it is as the Athletic Director at Oakland uh, to share in this moment the moments of yesterday. And I do especially want to thank Chair Kramer, uh, the, the Chair of our Board of Trustees, the entire membership of the Board of Trustees, uh, along with Dr. Russi, for their, their vision, their passion, and their commitment to uh, moving over Oakland Athletics to the Horizon League. Um, it was obviously a great day for us yesterday and, and maybe even a greater day today as we are officially welcomed by the Horizon League uh, into the league. Uh, it's exciting to know with the Horizon League Network that this is our first live broadcast today and, and uh, certainly a wonderful thing to know that, that we're, we're, we're out there, I guess, as you say. But uh, I really, again, just want to thank uh, the university community. The, the board, Dr. Russi, the rest of the uh, university administration for supporting us uh, as we uh, move into this new venture. Uh, for 15 years, as Dr. Russi mentioned, we had membership in the Summit League, uh, and I too want to recognize Tom Dupel and their entire staff and membership for everything that was provided us uh, during that time. Uh, but we're here now in the Horizon League and very much look forward to it. Uh, we had a, a staff meeting this morning and uh, you know, typically we'll have a staff meeting, 8 a.m., people kind of show up, and they show up probably because they have to or because there's bagels and something to drink. Um, but this morning was different. Uh, it, it was much different. The coaches, the staff, everyone was there, everyone was attentive because they see what this opportunity brings uh, to them, and most importantly, our student athletes. So I do want to thank our coaches and our staff for uh, all their patience as we've worked through this process as well. Uh, we're fortunate to have some of our staff here today, and, and I want to recognize Simon Dilber, our Senior Associate Athletic Director, who was uh, also instrumental in a lot of the, the work and the lifting and, the, and, as John mentioned, the chopping and the carrying uh, uh, of that wood throughout this process. So thanks to uh, Simon. Uh, fortunate to have uh, coach Campy, Greg Campy, our men's basketball coach here with us today, as well as Becky Francis, our women's basketball coach. And uh, I also asked our men's and women's swimming and diving head coach, Pete Hudlin, to be here. Uh, for a guy that's uh, that's been around, uh, I think, uh, 34th, 34th year, would never know by looking at him. Uh, <laughs> but for uh, someone that has been through uh, a number of transitions, like a few of us have, uh, to, to, to be there and have success at the Division II level, then to move a program to the Division I level and win 14 straight conference championships. I think he's preparing his squad now for um, the uh, Horizon League. Uh, but for, for someone to be able to come and represent the rest of our staff and the rest of our student athletes, uh, basketball is important to us, but we have a lot of other sports that are also very important to us, and I think. Pete and his program is a great representation of that. 
and we are really looking forward to carrying all of the programs forward into uh, the horizon lake. So I want to thank him for that. As Dr. Russi mentioned, uh, our faculty athletic rep, Dr. Robbie Stewart, who's here with us today, uh, tireless worker. Uh, sometimes we forget that he has another job uh, <laughs> within the institution uh, because the time and effort and energy that he pours into our student athletes in our department uh, might be unparalleled from what I've seen across the country. So, Robbie, to you, your support, and that of the Senate Athletic Committee uh, in supporting uh, what this means to be in the Horizon League and, and what it does for our student athletes, uh, please pass along our thanks to the rest of the, the Senate Athletics Committee. Uh, I, too, would like to recognize Jim Perry for uh, setting this up and helping us through this today to be here at the, the VAC, again, a wonderful friend of ours, and uh, his son, Jamie, who is an Oakland grad, who's uh, here today, um, Tony Moscone, who's also uh, very familiar with Oakland, uh, and Jim now, who has a granddaughter that's attending uh, Oakland University, so we appreciate everything that you've done for us today. Uh, as we make this move into the Horizon League, uh, I want to recognize and thank uh, John McCone, the commissioner, um, for the work and the time that we've already spent together. Uh, Simon and I, um, I guess the day after, or the day of the invitation, I guess John and I were on the phone that night and uh, just talking about how excited we were with this possibility. Uh, Simon and I went to Indianapolis the next day to visit with John and his staff. Uh, it was very clear to us that the Verizon League was not only the best place for Oakland University, but it was going to provide an opportunity in dealing with member institutions, presidents, uh, student athletes, staffs, athletic directors, uh, and John, your staff, for everything that they've already done for us and provided us, very clear uh, that the Verizon League is certainly a top conference and an affiliation for us to have. So thank you uh, for that. And really look forward to uh, many, many more uh, uh, days uh, ahead of us. Uh, as I mentioned, the staff meeting this morning uh, with our staff, our coaches, the excitement there. We don't have a lot of student athletes around right now. We know a lot of them are in summer class. But uh, based on their questions at the end of the year, based on some of the comments and wanting to know what was going to happen, uh, I think it's going to be very clear that our student athletes are excited about this, the level of competition, knowing that when they travel, they're in proximity to Oakland. And the places they're going to travel to, the competition they're going to have, what a wonderful and valuable experience it's going to be. And I think uh, Elena Gerber, who's a member, of, graduating member of our women's golf team, uh, we were in a meeting the other day and, and really kind of spoke to, this is exciting, I'm just kind of disappointed that I won't be there uh, to participate in it. So we know our student athletes are very excited and to know that we will start competition this fall. Uh, what, a, what a great way, let's just get right into it. We're ready, um, so let's have some fun. Uh, I want to thank the media members that are here today, and especially recognize our students that are here. Uh, I think this is an important move, as Dr. Russell mentioned strategically, but what it provides our students. Not only is it a great opportunity for our student athletes, it's a great opportunity for our students in general. Uh, again, with the proximity uh, to have a rivalry such as uh, the University of Detroit Mercy and all the new rivalries that we will develop for our students to be able to be active participants in that and what that develops for them and our campus community and campus life uh, certainly can't be overlooked. So to our students, uh, we want to welcome you as well as our student athletes and, and our coaches and staff uh, to the Horizon Day. It's a great opportunity for us. We have a number of our supporters and uh, some community members here. Uh, we want to thank them. I know some of them have been a little anxious uh, over the, the last few weeks or months, uh, and, and we made it. We want to thank them for their support, and uh, them knowing that this vision that we have for athletics and the vision we have for Oakland University, it runs parallel. Uh, for us, athletically, nothing will change for our student athletes. Our focus will always be graduates and champions, uh, and we will continue that, and we will do that with the support uh, of all of our community. Uh, and as I talked about yesterday, 
being a former student athlete and alumnus. Uh, I'm a former pioneer. I'm now a Golden Grizzly. It's all those former and all those men and women that were former Golden Grizzlies or pioneers, staff people, student athletes, people across our campus. It's everything that they've done up to this point that has really taken us to this, this level. And now as we participate in the Horizon League, those folks will also have the opportunity uh, to help us improve and help us have success. So I certainly want to recognize all of our um, current and former uh, members of our university community as we move forward. Um, I would like to uh, recognize for us, and, and as we continue to talk with uh, Commissioner Lacrone and, and, uh, and Bill and Billy and all the, the folks uh, in the Horizon League, uh, what the exposure brings to us, the Horizon League network, for our family, for our fans to be able to interact and see us on a consistent basis on the Horizon League network. I, I think we're only touching the surface on what that's really going to bring to us. So we are so excited to get to get going on that. We're already with Scott McDonald and, and his staff and athletic communications and, and making sure that we are ready to go uh, for the fall. And I can promise you uh, we will be ready and we're really looking forward to that. Everything that the Horizon League Network brings to us. And finally, I want to thank the uh, Horizon League membership to know that you have uh, another athletic director that's here today in support of this move, that means a lot. That speaks volumes uh, for the membership. And I want to thank uh, the membership of the Verizon League uh, for uh, welcoming Oakland University to participate uh, in this league. Uh, we really look forward to everything that this is going to bring for us. And um, John, we do aspire, and why not Oakland? So again, thank you very much, and uh, thank you all for attending. And uh, we hope to see you soon, somewhere around the horizon lake. Thank you. Thank you, Tracy. And thank you to all of our speakers today. Again, on behalf of the horizon lake, thank you to everyone for your attendance today. We're extremely excited to be welcoming Oakland University into our membership. And we look forward to start competing against everybody. Here in August. So at this time we'll uh, we'll wrap up the formal media event. We'll have everyone available for one-on-one -on -one interviews with our assembled media members uh, throughout the rest of our program and we will step aside so this way anyone who wants dessert can have it because we're, we're, we're not going to without it. Uh, so thanks again for your attendance today and uh, thanks for everyone who tuned in on the Friday Network. So thank you.